I like mashing the button. <laughs> Good comment right there. I like mashing the button. I only wear, I only own two pairs of shoes. No. Oh, I have my regular non-slip shoes I bought to work at Pizza Hut. They're Skechers memory foam and they're really comfortable. And they don't test on animals. I made sure of that before buying because they're not leather or anything. Uh, I wear dress shoes that I think test on animals because I bought them before I was vegan and thought about that sort of thing. Uh, not test on animals. I'm sorry. That sounded so dumb. <laughs> made of animal skin. Made it from animal flesh. I accidentally bought a non-vegan car. I think my car has leather in it, and I didn't think about that at all. So that's interesting. All right, uh, more zeros, great. I don't have much to say in the way of shoes. Uh, somebody, I think my dad or a cousin, like two or three years ago at my family reunion was like, hey, you want some shoes? Here's some shoes. And these blue Nike tennis shoes with green laces. And I don't know how to tie shoes, so I never wear shoes like that. I did one time, because I wanted to fit in and get girls. Because I thought that's what I was supposed to do when I was 14. And uh, yeah, I... Uh, tucked the laces inside the shoe constantly. It was really annoying. I never tripped. I, I tripped over my shoelaces once ever. And I wore those for about... Uh, Four years, probably. Also, I used to wear sandals a lot, but they make my feet feel gross. I, I've become way more of a germaphobe. Uh, not actually a germaphobe. Sorry, that's insensitive to real germaphobes, though those are rare. They definitely exist. All right, I am getting very sick of this process. Okay, great. <laughs> we're just going to guess for a few lines. Uh, oh my god! That's not what I wanted at all! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go this way, and... No! Damn it! God damn it! Okay, that one I meant to do. Well, now we can't make any mistakes because we made three or four. I already forgot. Because of the stupid going over to where I didn't want it to go! I've really got to test this out with an action game. Or just play with the keyboard. Because I have no problems doing that, unlike most people. Alright, we really don't have much for this. God, I really wish we had a... Where... I guess this one was our hint? One of our hints? I don't know which one of the horizontal ones was our hint. Um... Great. <laughs> Glad we figured that one out so eloquently. Oh yeah, if we make another mistake, we're dead. So I probably should be way more careful. Two and one, that one is done. One and one. And of course we have the uh, good old two and one over here. There's three there, requiring two more here, and we don't have a one there. I bet it's there. Oh, because the three has to be here. Okay. Which means we have the one and two for this, which also means this. Three, four, five, six, yep. Ooh, two here. I hate having to be careful. I hate having to focus and do my job. Creature is this? I feel like this is a creature of some kind. Six, three. All right, eight. 
One, two, three, four. Oh, we're running out of time. Uh, is that eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's not done. I really thought it was going to be done for some reason. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. That's three, five, four. Oh my god, what is that? Is that a hat? It's a baseball cap. It's gonna say cap or baseball cap. Yes, cap. Okay. What's the H for? Um, oh, is that a, it's supposed to be an N? Because I was about to say I'm surprised it wasn't an N. Also, that, those, that art at the bottom there actually looks really good. As for the Game Boy. That looks really good. Look at those trees. Especially for a game like this. There was no need to have that good of art, but somebody just wanted to do it, I guess. I wonder if that was Ape or Jupiter. Probably Jupiter? I don't know what each company did. I just know Jupiter was the main honcho, the head honcho in this project. Oh, I'm getting hungry. I just ate breakfast not that long ago, though. Well, I had to call about my tags. So I want to start doing Uber Eats once I get my car's registration. I want to do it. I want to do it. We don't know. Wait. No, we have no idea. Which way is which? Oh, 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2. What is that? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 13. Damn it. There are no guarantees here. Four one one four. That's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Everything adds up to thirteen, so there's no guarantees. Except, hmm. Ooh, that narrows that down perfectly. Great. Thank you so much. For all right, we did the left side. Now let's try the top. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfectly in the middle. And now let's do this side. Probably the same as that side. Yep. And that makes the 13s rather easy for us, huh? So. Alright, now we've got all our sides, our edges, as it were. And more. I'm, I'm getting better and better at this. That's how playing a game normally goes. You get better as you go on. I could knock out... I could already knock out Easy Precross the whole thing in 20 minutes. Guaranteed. Yeah, that's not ever going to happen. Five. Uh, yep. Five. What is this? Uh, not here. Here, yes. Six. Three and three. Oh my god. Alright, so wait, what is this? That's eight. Seven, eight. Uh, no, no. Stay down here before you get distracted. Uh, this is nine. Uh, nope. What did I say? Stay down here. You're gonna get distracted. Three. Three. Okay. Okay. It's it's all symmetrical. Great. Mm, we'll go ahead and fill these in, because I know it's a bad idea for me not to. Six. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, that's six. And then four we've got. Great. Three, three. Oh my god. I love when they throw us a bone for a nice easy one. Is that nine? Yes! And then this is going to be just an easy seven right here. It's a phone. It's a telephone. Didn't we already have that? I guess not. We still haven't had fire hydrant and I'm still waiting on it. Or, uh, I 
don't know which side that's going to be on. <laughs> That is done. Uh, okay. Three, five. Oh, so it's right here. Oh, we're not done. Is it this? Yes, it is. Oh, we're still not done. Huh. Oh, because this is 13. Oops. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, that's the phone on top. I thought that was... I was like, what are these wires? Okay, that is a nice, perfect rendition of a telephone there. Uh, I forgot what the last puzzle was. Don't think I talked about it at all. Oops, sorry. Telephones? I don't have any interesting story there either. Hmm. Uh, hanging out with Justin tomorrow, probably. I've, that's like the third time I've mentioned him in this series. Been seeing a lot of him lately, uh, which is great because we used to hang out all the time before I moved out of my parents' house because he lived uh, not very far from there, and uh, we've been friends since third grade when he moved nearby and went to the same school and everything, same grade too. I was never one of those people that could be friends with people outside of my grade, except for one exception. Oh, well, it's not, you know, for any particular reason, but uh, the neighbor right to like two or three houses down, who I filmed Billy Blue's talk show with in the early, early days, was uh, a year older than I was, a grade higher. Actually, I think he was two years older and they held him back. That's something I've never understood. Like, I don't get it. But that's just from my privileged genius perspective, I guess. <laughs> well, I don't understand what constitutes having to hold a child back and, and make them do kindergarten twice. Uh, my very first best friend in school, Jesse, who I'm still friends with, uh, good friends with, uh, he's two, exactly two years older than I am because we share the same birthday. And he uh, got held back twice. He's a, he's a, he had a lot of problems in school because of his uh, anxiety and stuff. So that was a different story. Same with my wife, you know, because uh, our public school system. I'm not trying to like <laughs> put out a bunch of details on other people's lives. It's just a testament to how awful our school system is. That's that's what I'm trying to say here. In case you can't tell, I live in America. Also, Billy Blue's talk show, I guess I should explain. <laughs> that is uh, on the channel Video Game Master 6, my original YouTube series uh, with kooky pins, which I hold the world record. I own more kooky pins, unique and duplicates. In, like, take out the duplicates, even. I own more unique kooky pins than anybody else in the world, except for maybe the guy who invented them. Or, well, he didn't invent them. He bought the patent from the Chinese uh, when he was in like Tokyo or maybe just in Hong Kong. I can't remember the story, but uh, it is a funny story for years. I think I already talked about this on the channel, so there's not really much of a need. So never mind. That's not too interesting. All right, that is good and solved. We are out of the confines of our beautiful symmetry now. All right, and we've got all our edges sort of. I'm not going to count the ones that are just zeros or 15s, because those are too easy. Alright, and you know, while I know I can do this, I'm going to go ahead and do this. That's nine, right? Yay, we did it. Oh, and this is done. Two. Ooh, it's not here. Not here. Okay, we need to stop guessing. <laughs> ah, I said we needed to stop, and then I just couldn't help myself, could I? I really couldn't. Oh, well. That's fine. We'll be alright. We'll live. Five and then one. One. Okay, this looks like a music note again, but we already did that. Hmm. 
Hmm. Another one and one, another two and one. God. Two and two, and we don't know any of the details. All right, but we know this is two and one, so that one, this column is done. So maybe, okay. All right, this column is just about done, but we don't know which, if this is gonna be here or here. I'm willing to bet it's, no. Remember, no guessing. I don't want to get another game over. I really don't. Sorry, I just kicked the microphone. That's not an accurate description of what happened, but... All right. One and the two, so it's not... Okay, we can cross those out. Is it here or here? That is what is killing me. Ugh. Because that would help us solve a bunch of other stuff. And two and two. Wait a minute. Aha. See, it was as simple as that. Oh, it's a hook hand. It's totally what this is. So we did the one and two there. We got that whole side done with. And we've got a 10 I didn't even see somehow. Excellent. And then a three. And that clears out this. And that one one is done. Done. <laughs> one one done done. Ha ha ha. Woo! I love Picross! No picking. Oh my god, my chest really hurts. Ever since I... Oh. I lifted something the other day and I put a ton of weight on my sternum. It has just hurt on and off since then. Anytime I exhaust myself, it flares up and hurts. That's not good. I'll be all right though. I am just fatigued. Do not fret for me, for it is only fatigue. That is done. We may actually run out of time without a mistake. Oh, never mind. It's a can. Is it gonna say tin can? Probably just can. Yep. Occam's razor, except for the wild duck. Wild duck. That was the dumbest thing ever. God, I really want some food. I may go get Oreos in a second. Alright, how about after the next three puzzles? A nice halfway point. Okay. Uh, let's take care of our zeros. I don't think any of that math... Actually, it does. Because... Across, we have 13. So 2 plus 2, that's 6... Seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait. I have to use, I can't use the controller. I have to look at the numbers and use my finger in rhythm to count that. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Damn it! <laughs> oh, no, it's fine because of this. Great, so twelve is all we can do. Oh, no. Oh, that is down. Okay, that's down and across. Excellent. So that two, the two, 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 three, those are done. All right, no, stop it. Let me go ahead and fill in all our zeros before we forget our playing field here. Uh, can, I, I, I bought more cans of Hormel Chili, Hormel Vegetarian Chili probably than anybody else on earth, at least my age. You have no idea, or eaten, because I didn't pay for the ones, you know, back when I was a kid. But for years now, my main meal, I have eaten as a meal, chili, 20 times more than I've eaten anything else. And spaghetti is a close second, and then uh, just beef products or beef, fake beef included, like burgers, stuff like that, steak burgers. Man, I ate a lot of steaks when I was younger. My dad could really cook some steak. Cause he knew how I, my, I, I like I like meat cooked the same way my mom does. So it's great because I'm vegetative vegan now. So I don't even have to fully cook my food. You know, cause it's already cooked. It's not real meat. I'm not gonna get sick. It's just frozen stuff. So I put it on the stove, fry it. Uh, cause I'm too lazy to use a grill. 
and uh, boom, I, it's still frozen a little in the center. You just microwave it a little bit so it doesn't, I don't like it brown at all, like from cooking. Please don't use that quote against me. I actually had a f an interesting experience two days ago. Let me focus on this first. But uh, I was bombarded by black people and asked to say the N-word on camera by them. Ironic, considering I've done it before without their permission in a bigoted way on this channel. Okay, not a bigoted way. I said it and I shouldn't have. But I wouldn't call that bigoted. It's just offensive. Oh, uh, I know that's not here. I said I was going to do it. See, I get so distracted talking. Two, 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 threes. Come on, let's fill those in. Two, three. And then another one over here. Thank God for that little cursor over there. Otherwise, I'd get overly confused. All right, beautiful. And that clears that up for us. But I took an order, uh, and it was a DoorDash for Chipotle. And it was going to a community college. And it was for the N-word, with the, not the hard R, the version with the A. And the last name was C. So I had to pull up to the Chipotle window, and they said, uh, what's the name? And I said, I can't say. No, no, I said, it's the N-word. And she started cracking up, and she handed it to me. And, uh... And she was white, <laughs> so she didn't say it. But then I get there, and uh, I go up to the, the dorm building, and they're like, who's it for? And I said, I can't say. <laughs> and I showed it to them, and they thought it was funny. So people kept coming and asking me who it was for, and I'm like, I really can't tell you. Uh, and I would point to it. So the people came out, shined a flashlight in my face, recording me, and said, all right, tell us who the order is for. You want a good tip, don't you? And they were just having a good time, and it was funny. And interactions like that make me happy. Because I hope that they know that I'm not actually, a, you know, a racist. They asked me to say it. And then they showed the video to other people and called me back over. This guy said, now don't be saying that word anymore. And uh, I don't think he realized that... Like, he was still joking, but I don't think he realized at first that they had asked me to do it. They said, you get the pass. And I was like, uh, is this a trap? They said, no, you're good. We want you to say it. And I was like, okay. It was funny. It was a good time. I just hope that video doesn't circulate highly without context. Do I deserve that? I guess, for my past misdeeds. Okay. Phew. Two and then four. I did that. Okay, so one, two, three. Great. Most of that, again, guessing. Where's the oh, we already did this, so we can we can close out of this. Nope. Stop it. I, I, I think going, like, circling it and getting closing in on the center, I think that has been a good strategy for us. All right. One four one. Uh, yeah, we've definitely covered that. But is it here or here? Oh wait, it has to be here. Okay. Duh, I'm using my brain. My brain's expanding. I'm learning. Three, four, five, and six. And you may say, you know, they were like exploiting their race, but or something. I know there's people that would do that. And just letting the white people say it is a bad thing, but I just hope they realize I wasn't some backwater redneck guy. And it was just a fun thing. So it's one of those things that really gives you, uh, in a weird way, hope <laughs> for the world? I know that's a really dumb way of putting it, I know that. But... Just, I think, making light of the situation, you know, in a comedic way, I think that's healthy. Again, coming from a white male point of view, why do I have to get so political all the time? Basically, what I'm trying to say is, why does everything have to be political? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Wait. Okay. 
that has that shading. So that whole top portion is done, and we have successfully done my strategy of closing in on the middle. Another one, 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 one. Oh, not here though. Okay. Hmm. All right, these threes. Are these ones here? Yes. What is this? That the part in the middle doesn't look like right, but I think this is garlic. Yay! You think that's a deliberate Wario reference? Because you know, Wario Land was decently popular for a Game Boy title at the time. Of course, the Game Boy at this point is six years old, and that is. That is a longer lifespan than an average console. Why? The 10 and the 11? Really? No, you know what? We can do it. I was about to hit give up. <laughs> Wait, what? Which one are we on? Yeah, I can show you the save feature. Let's do that. Your game has been saved. You can continue later. Thank you. I had to do that at some point. Get ready to continue your saved game. Not what I wanted. Okay. But just, you jump right back into it. Which is weird. Because you think your save file would do that. Oh, I think I said earlier that this is, they it's strange they put save batteries in it. Well, they did that to keep track of your Picross puzzles because there's so many in the game. As you can tell, there's already 64 times 3 minimum. Alright. Ooh, this is rough. I don't know where this two is gonna go. All right, let's go with the the bigger numbers, the bigger amounts. Hmm. This is so overwhelming. All right. Oh. Four, five, six, seven, eight. What was the last puzzle? Garlic. Uh, I'm actually allergic to garlic. Neat fact, I still eat it all the time. And technically everyone's alert, not allergic, but it is poison, just like onion. But humans eat, you know, onions and garlic all the time because they're delicious. But just saying, technically they are poisonous to the human body. Uh, do I have to say technically again to get my point across? Fun fact about this game, actually. Uh, oh, wait, no, that's a spoiler. I can't say it, sorry. I hope I remember to say it later. And I think we've had enough of the political discussion. Pseudo-political discussion. It's not really political, is it? I'm just saying stuff like, Oh, I wish there was just peace between the races. We get it. Obviously, who doesn't wish for that? Okay, well, there are some people who don't. But I, I don't like to associate myself with those types of people. Okay. I like to pretend that everybody watching this video is, is a good person who does not believe in the race war being a righteous thing. I feel like that's not too much to ask. Yep, statistically speaking, that was the right choice there. Not the race war. Not Helter Skelter, but the uh, sevens being the two here. So we got that all figured out. We just need to figure out the top. Oh, and the t it's not there. Six and eight. Yep. Perfect. Again, more guessing, but that was more likely than not to be the case. Since these are all two sets of twos. These are all one. Oh, no. Stop it. This is four. This is three. So. Oh, and we've already got the one and the seven. So those are done. So we've got the middle done. This is the opposite of our strategy I was talking about before. And this is done. So we know here that, oh, seven and six. And this is six, right? Three, four, five, six. And this is the same exact thing. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, yeah, 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 yada, yada, yada. That sound is kind of grating in my ears again, finally. It took a while. It took, uh...
an hour and 40 minutes. Wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> so this will probably be over three hours. That's fine, though. I'm okay with that. Alright, so... And five. Six and five. I mean, six and four. Eight. Six. Four. Three. Three. Okay. Glove? There's a lot of sports stuff here. This is like a mitt. A glove, right? That is such a neat way to do that art, too. Oh, it's a hand! That's why! Oh, that's cool, cause, so I could show the crease more accurately there. Or more prominently. Okay. Huh. Alright, uh, one more puzzle, and then I'll probably change the music. And then... Go get some Oreos and check my phone, because my wife... Is my no, my wife's therapy is at 1.30. She had to wait for like an hour on it. I think, was it 12? I don't, I don't remember. That's okay, she'll be fine. She may be home before the recording session is done. And then I've got a lot of editing to do. Man, that was, it really wasn't that bad. I thought it was gonna be insanely boring. I'm like, okay, well I have to cut it off here, that's it. But no, that was not bad at all. Oh, 15. Yes. I stopped looking out for those <laughs> because, uh, right, we have no 13s this way. Um, that's it. Yep. That's fine. I am okay losing two minutes. I haven't gotten a game over yet. I'm really hoping it stays that way. Alright. There we go with that. I feel like this is a Japanese symbol. That's what it kind of looks Well, character, not symbol. Technically, same thing, but I sound really, sound really ignorant and like there's a divide between the cultures in a way there shouldn't be when I say symbol instead of character. Right? Does that make sense? I feel like that makes sense. Alright. Uh, you know, because we don't call our letters symbols. They're characters or letters. But it kind of feels weird to call a Japanese character a letter because uh, I, the way I think of it is we have the letters and they have the either the Japanese letters or the characters. So when I say letter, I think like, let's work, the first few puzzles. Because they also use those. Of course, to them, that's romaji. Uh, romanized kanji, I believe, is romanized G, which just means, mm, mm, I don't remember, I'm so rusty in my Japanese, because G means a lot of things, it also means time, as a, it's a suffix meaning time, but we really don't have to get into that, that's okay, one and three, uh, I didn't help Neil as much as I thought it would, I'm blowing up like I thought I would. I'm circumcised because I don't come from the hood. Dun -dun. Oh wait, that was a lucky guess because this last one's not going to have it. Right? 3, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, okay, great. And then we know the 7 is going to be here, right? Yes. Excelente. Muy hotel. Something my dad says a lot when something is good. He says it is muy hotel. <laughs> I don't remember where that originated. Um... Nice. Nope. <laughs> Oops. Me being dumb helped out. Oh, another 11. And a 12. Oops. Okay. Well, that's fine. <laughs> we can make one more mistake and we're good. Um. Ooh. 
Uh, see, I'm not looking at the downs at all right now. I'm just looking at the across. And six, so three, four, five, six. Two and five. Three and four. There's a pattern here I'm not understanding. All right, four and then six, that's good. Five and then six. Five, seven. Three, four, six, seven. All right, two. All right, where is it? Where's the two and then five? Gotta be here, yep. One and then six, well we did that already, right? Oh, we're missing this down here, okay. Um, that is not it. That's it. Oh, that's right. That was our last mistake. Oh, God. All right, where are these ones? Two, three. Three. Three, one. Three, one, three. No, that one's not it. It can't be any of these. What? It can be this one, though. It has to be. A burger? That's a burger. Please say burger. Please say burger. Hamburger. I should have known. Everybody called them hamburgers back then. I mean, they still do, but we shorten everything. I, I couldn't think of the word burger the other day. I was just thinking burg. We call them burgs. <laughs> How lazy do you have to be? This language is already impossible enough to learn. So if I went up to somebody who just learned the language and said, Yeah, uh, I'm about to eat a burg. I'd be like, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah. Okay, well, we've been going for an hour and 47 minutes. Instead of splitting the file as I should... And I really should. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna split the file. So next time... Uh, I guess I'll tell you a good story about burgers. I love you guys. I'm LP Master 6. God, I wish I had a better name. I think of that every time I say the name.